Good morning, everyone. Today is National Clean Your Room Day. Did you guys even know there was such a day? Well, I'm here to tell you there is, and I'm going to read you a great book called Clean Your Room, Harvey Moon. This book was written by Cat Pat Cummings. It's a Monday. On Saturday morning at 10 to 9, Harvey Moon was eating toast, waiting for the cartoon show that he enjoyed the most. With only 10, with only minutes left to go, he heard the voice of doom. Today, young man, his mother said, is the day you clean your room. Doesn't look too happy about that. Not now, moaned Harvey, red in the face. I'll miss Rotten Ed and invaders from space. Right this second, she ordered and gave him the broom. Harvey marched angrily up to his room. It really didn't seem messy at all. Really? First, he'd throw his dirty clothes out in the hall. Under the bed was an ice cream smeared shirt, jeans that had what mom called ground in dirt. Two towels and swim trunks that seemed to be wet. Three socks he sniffed and found weren't dirty yet. Under the dresser was a lump, warm and gray, that he didn't recognize, so he put it away. The floor of the closet had clumps, hard and dirty, of t-shirts and sweatshirts. It was 10.30. Harvey panicked, then thought, I should be through soon. I'll eat lunch while I watch Creature Zero at noon. Grabbing marbles and crayons and flat bottle caps, two of his own special lightning bug traps, the softball he couldn't find last Saturday, one toothbrush, one helmet, he put them away. Where is he putting them though? What are you guys seeing anything funny? I'll clear out these toys and then I'll be done. Ken's Kung Fu Corner will be on at one. Under his desk were some comics, all icky from something inside that was dripping and sticky. Looks like it got gum all over it. He found library books. Oh no, he had forgotten he had. His skates from Aunt Sarah, his bow tie from dad. He found a caboose that was missing its train, a whistle, paintbrush, a map of the brain. He found sneakers and card games up under the bed, goggles, flippers, and a grasshopper dead. A long lost cookie, all fuzzy and gray, plastic cars, boats, and planes, and he put them all away. But look at what he's doing. He's lifting up his bed cover. I think he's putting the, everything in under the bed cover. Just then, Harvey happened to notice the clock. It's almost two, Harvey shouted. He went into shock. I've missed Caveman Capers on Channel 9. I'm starving. I'm tired. This room looks fine. He put up his bathrobe, his bat, and football with a few other things, then ran down the hall, shouting, Mom, I'm finished! Harvey put back the broom. His mother stepped cautiously into his room. I'm really amazed, his mom said. Harvey beamed. He could watch TV now. He was through, so it seemed. I'll fix you some lunch, she said. When you are done, you and I will get started on lump number one. So take a good look. This is his bed. He just shoved everything underneath his bed. So his mom realized what he had done and they're gonna work on that after he eats lunch. The end? Maybe, maybe not. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the book. I hope you find time to clean your room today. Um, it makes you feel good when your space is clean. So get in there and clean it up. 
All right. Have a good Monday, guys. Bye.